Hi, it's Dr. Scott Watson with a brief GarageBand tutorial, this time on how to use audio units instruments inside of GarageBand. So the premise is, say you're working on a project, you go into the um, software instrument library, and you look for the uh, instrument you want. In this case, I'm looking for a solo cello, and I don't find it. So what do you do? Well, you can actually reach outside of GarageBand to one of the other instrument libraries that you might have already installed on your computer. Maybe you use Pro Tools or Finale for music typesetting. And in those programs, there's instrument libraries that you've already loaded, like the uh, Vienna Symphonic Strings or the Garretton Personal Orchestra and on and on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go outside of uh, GarageBand to assign one of those. Uh, we start by just uh, clicking the new uh, track button and we're going to say software instrument track. Uh, I'm going to drag this track up to the top so you can kind of keep keep track of it. Okay, so right now it's set as a classic electric piano. If I play a MIDI controller here, right, you can hear that it's a, a classic electric piano sound. But what I'm going to do is down here in the um, plugins area. This is the smart controls. I'll, I'll show you the tool that would open it up if it doesn't happen to be open. But in the track area of smart controls, right, where it says plugins, that's where the uh, software instrument is, is assigned. And I'm going to go ahead and look for in my audio instruments, um, Garretton Personal Orchestra, and these will be different depending on what you have on your computer. So you might just go in that audio instruments folder just to see what you have. You might surprise yourself. Anyway, go into the ARIA player, which is the player for Garretton Personal Orchestra instruments, and um, let's see what we have there. All right, so even though there's 16 available channels, uh, we're only concerned with the first channel, and we click on where it says empty, and um, there's all the um, Garretton Personal Orchestra instruments that are available to me. So I could, you know, use a um, a fife or an ethnic uh, or a dulcimer or a, a didgeridoo. I mean, those aren't what I'm looking for, but let's go into solo strings, cello, and solo cello. And now I can play this keyboard emulation and hear a solo cello, or I could play my MIDI keyboard. Right, and I hear that cello sound. So that's what I want. I'm going to go ahead and close this now. And back in my project, it's this uh, new track that was called Instrument 8. That's going to sound like a solo cello. Now, that's all you need to do if you only care about hearing a solo cello for this one project. But if you want to save this sound, you can go down to the bottom here where it says Save. You know, click on Save. And just give it a name like Solo Cello. And just save it in the default um, uh, folder that, that comes up. Just go ahead and say Save. And now you'll actually have that solo cello to use um, for other projects. It's in your user patches now. Another thing is you might want to assign an icon. So if you control click, um, you could say, let's uh, give it a solo cello kind of icon uh, like that. So that when I use that instrument, I actually see uh, the icon that represent it. Let me go ahead and just record a little bit um, of this solo cello. Here we go. There we go. Okay, hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for trying to assign an audio units instrument that maybe exists somewhere outside of GarageBand in one of the other applications that you have that host audio unit instruments, but you want to bring it inside of GarageBand. Hopefully this uh, tutorial will help you be able to do that. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit.